Did you know that hypnosis can be used instead of anesthetic for surgery? Stick around, find out more. Live trans and prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips and welcome to Hypno News. This week we're going to talk about cutting people up. Well, okay, we're going to talk about surgery. Surgery that is enhanced with the use of hypnosis in that with surgical intervention, patients don't require anesthetic or they don't require as much anesthesia. Now, the connection between hypnosis and surgery is pretty long. They've been working together since it was first discovered that we can do things with our minds that cause us not to feel pain. And in the 1800s, actually, it looked like mesmerism or hypnosis was well on its way to being the primary anesthetic. That is until chemical anesthesia discovered chloroform and ether and some really awesome stuff that knocked folks out. But many hypnotists experimented with anesthetic hypnosis. James Esdale actually performed hundreds, hundreds of surgeries in, during his work in India using mesmerism or applied hypnosis alone. In fact, one of his famous cases was a man who had a tumor on his testicles the size of Oh, it was a big thing. In fact, he used to use his testicular tumor as a writing desk. And Esdale removed that tumor using mesmerism as the anesthetic. And you can imagine, especially the men watching this, how painful that surgery might have been had he not had an anesthetic. And he didn't have any chemical anesthesia. He just had the power of the mind, which is absolutely wonderful. So mesmerism, then hypnosis, was used a lot in surgeries, and then it fell out of favor when chemical anesthesia improved. Today, more hospitals are experimenting with the use of hypnosis, either as an adjunct supplement to anesthesia or in place of anesthesia partly because hypnosis doesn't have the side effects anesthesia has. Prior to any anesthetics being used in surgery, death rates for surgical operations were very, very high. Once they started using hypnosis, though, the death rates fell. Chemical anesthesia has been improved over the last century and a half to the point that Death rates are fairly low, but they do happen, particularly with general anesthetics. So if a hospital can find an alternative to putting someone completely under a general anesthetic, they will opt for it. And a hospital, uh, in a, well, it's an investigative or teaching hospital in Paris, has recently performed over 70 cancer operations using hypnosis and a local anesthetic instead of a general anesthetic. This is the Institut Curie in Paris where they performed over 80 cancer operations. Now the technique's been offered predominantly by hospitals uh, for several months for the patients who don't want to go under general anesthetic. The hypnotist, who is an anesthesiist hypnotist, uh, Dr. Aror Marcou, uh, is present and talks the people through the process. Essentially, there are protocols and a competent, medically trained hypnotist can perform this work. Or a hypnotist who is competently and fully trained uh, under a supervision process with doctors can of course perform this work. There are some wonderful hypnotists who provide training in this sort of work. I received this sort of training and it's absolutely wonderful 
to work with folks. Uh, now, essentially, uh, when Marcou works with folks, he gives them verbal suggestions to help them relax and to kind of get into the zone. Um, in fact, it's the same as when you get onto, uh, he says, it's the same as when you get onto an MRT or a Metro and you just relax yourself. And so he gives them a guided instruction. He pops them into experiential hypnosis. He does say that they choose the patients carefully uh, in that uh, they're often women who need to recover quickly. And if you use hypnosis for surgery, recovery is faster than anesthesia. And that's partly because general anesthetics cause a wear and tear, a strain on the body system that can affect the immune system and the healing system. Whereas with hypnosis, that effect doesn't occur. So there's much less trauma to the body, the mind, when you use hypnosis. So they use women who often need to recover quickly uh, and they also need to work with folks who are conducive to the process, which is pretty straightforward. They always, always have anesthesia on the side just in case they need it. But typically for the over 70 surgeries they performed, they haven't needed to resort to the general anesthesia often at all. And so they're dealing with folks. Now, the surgeries that they perform with, we all know about news stories where folks have had, say, open heart surgery with hypnosis as the anesthetic. Yes, people have done that, or dental procedures, root canals, and more. Uh, but uh, for the Institut Carré in Paris, they limit their hypnotic processes with folks who have surgeries on limbs where a local anesthetic can be used. So they're, they're still using a local, which will kind of numb the area. So they might do surgery on uh, an arm, a leg, eye, or the breast. They've done many mastectomies with hypnosis alone. Uh, they tend not to use this sort of procedure on things like the liver or the heart, although other hospitals have indeed done that sort of work. Next time you need surgery, don't need surgery, but if for some reason you need surgery, you might consider a hypnotic adjunct as well. Now, I am absolutely not saying don't use anesthetic, just hypnotize yourself. I'm saying uh, use your doctor's advice, but a hypnotic supplement to your work can certainly increase the healing rate and lessen the trauma to the body. Isn't the mind wonderful? I hope that's been interesting or helpful to you. Be sure to click subscribe so that you can get notifications from YouTube whenever we have new videos coming out. We tend to have new videos every week. Well, we don't tend to have new videos every week. We have new videos every week. On Tuesdays, it's Hypno News and Rants, sometimes a rant. Wednesdays, well, that's Tips, Tricks, and Methods, where I talk you through a new trance technique or how to do things. That's also when I answer your questions. So if you have questions, be sure to comment so that I can answer them. Maybe I'll even make a video about your question. Thursdays are special. That's trance time when I guide you through an authentic trance experience. Be sure to check out our web pages. Lots of good stuff on the web page. And, of course, once a month we have a webinar or seminar where you can interact with us live. So, remember, click subscribe, and very, very importantly, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips saying, live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.